Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cowl here. Now it's very easy to make. I would think as long as you know the basic double and single crochets, you will be able to make this. It's very beginner friendly. It's also adaptable to any size that you like to make it. So I'll give you a quick measure of mine real quick. Mine is approximately, um, almost 22 inches across and about 11 inches wide. It does have some shell detail at the top. Of course, you can leave that off if you want. This would work for a man or a woman. And you can make it thinner by leaving off less rows. You can make it bigger. It's up to you. But uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I use Yarn Bee Arabella yarn. Now, this is from Hobby Lobby. It is a bulky and number five, a 55 cotton, a 45 acrylic blend. And there are 105 yards per ball. And this is my, what I have left on my fourth ball. So I'm going to say you're going to need about 300 and 300 and 325 yards probably of a bulky five now you don't have to use this yarn any bulky five will work you can also use a four weight just remember it'll be a little bit smaller but you can adjust the size because i'm going to tell you the multiples so you can make it any size that you'd like oh the color i use is called bejeweled and then i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook and if you do drop down to a four weight yarn i recommend still using a j hook now this stitch is done in a multiple of six so that what that means is your base chain if you don't follow along with me you and you want to make it the bigger or smaller um, your base chain needs to be divisible by six evenly divisible by six Okay, I'm starting out with a chain of 108. So what you want to do once you get your chain of 108, you want to follow it all the way down without twisting it. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form one large ring. So we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. Now I'm going to start off by chaining one. Now I'm going to go back into the same spot that I just slip stitched into and do a single crochet. And now I'm going to work around my chain, working one single crochet in every stitch. Remembering not to twist your chain. It's like that. So row one is just one single crochet and every stitch all the way around till you get back to your starting point. All right, I've made it back around and you should have a total of 108 stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into our first single crochet. Not the chain one that we did, but the first single crochet. Just like that. Now we're going to start round two and we're going to start by chaining three. This chain three is going to count as a double crochet here and for the rest of the pattern. So we got the chain three, which is our first double crochet. Now we're going to go back into that same spot right here that we just slip stitched into and do two more double crochets. That way we'll have a total of three there counting that chain three. Now we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and put three double crochets into the next stitch. So skip, skip, and then three doubles all into the next stitch. Just 
Again, we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and three doubles into the next. Skip, skip into the next, three doubles again. And that's what we're going to repeat now all the way around for round, or round two. Skip two, skip, skip, and three doubles into the next. Skip two, skip, skip, and three into the next. So I'm just going to keep on repeating this until I get back to my starting point. Alright, I'm coming to the end of round two. And I just did three double crochets here in this stitch. And you should have two stitches left that remain. Go ahead and skip those last two stitches. And we're going to end by slip stitching into our first uh, double crochet, which is actually that chain three. And that'll end round two. And you should have 36 of these groups of three double crochet. So now we're going to start round three, which is actually the repeat round um, for the rest of the cow, of course, until we get to the edging part. So it's pretty easy, one row repeat. What we're gonna do is slip stitch three times until we get into this space here in between these two double crochets. So you slip stitch once, and then twice, and then one more time into this space here. And that's where we're gonna start. And we're going to do a chain three, which of course counts as our double crochet. And we're going to go back into that space and we're going to work two more double crochets. Just like that. Now we're going to jump over here to the next, in between the these next group of three, this space right here. And we're going to work three double crochets into that space. Okay, we jump again, the space in between these two groups of three double crochet, just go right through the space and work three double crochet again. And that's the repeat now all the way around, pretty easy. Go right here into the space again, three double crochets right into that space. So we want to repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to our starting point. All right, when you get to the end of row three, what you want to do is slip stitch into your beginning double crochet, which is that chain three. And that's how we end every row. So, and you'll have 36 sets of these three double crochets in every stitch. So now it's just a repeat of row three. Just keep repeating that row until you get it as thick as you want it to be. Well, I went ahead and continued. And I done, I finished a total of 20 um, rows or rounds. And that is including this first round of single crochet. So starting with that one, I did a total of 20. Now I'm going to add a shell row at the top just for a little bit of decoration. You don't have to do that. And remember, you can make this uh, wider if you want. And you can make it skinnier. You can do as many rows of that as you want. So for the shell row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by slip stitching one time to my next double crochet. So this is row around 21 that I'll run. <clears throat> now I am going to chain one. I'm going to go back into that same spot that we just slip stitched into and single crochet like that. Now I'm going to skip two stitches, skip, skip. And in the next stitch, which will be the middle stitch of this group of three, I'm going to put a shell. 
a shell is five double crochets into the same stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, and there's five. Now I'm going to skip two stitches again, skip, skip, and again I'll be in the middle of this group of three, and I'm going to put a single crochet. Just like that. And I'm going to kind of just repeat that. So I'm going to skip two again, skip, skip, and then the next stitch will be the middle of this group of three. I'm going to put a shell stitch. So five double crochets into the same stitch. Skip two stitches, skip, skip, and in the next single crochet. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So skip two, skip, skip, shell into the next. So five doubles into the next. Skip two, skip, skip, and single crochet into the next. And that's what it starts to look like. It just gives a little bit of a, a little bit of a detail edge. <clears throat> you can leave that off if you want. You know, you don't have to do this if you want, if you don't want to. But I'm gonna uh, finish, uh, keep doing this edging and the same repeat that we've been doing all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, once you make it back around, um, um, I just did a shell stitch and I have two stitches to skip and I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my very first single crochet that I did and you should have a total of 18 shells now. And now we can go ahead and tie that off. Now one more thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the bottom and clean up that bottom edge. So I'm going to flip it. I got the right side of my work facing up. And you can start anywhere along the bottom here that you'd like. And I'm just going to go into any stitch, pull my yarn through, and I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into the exact same stitch and do a single crochet like that. Now I'm going to work across putting one single crochet in every stitch. This is just the bottom edging, just to clean up the bottom a little bit. It's just one round of single crochet around the bottom. So I'm just going to continue working one single in every stitch until I get back around to my starting point. All right, I've made it back around to my starting point and you should have a hundred, approximately 108 stitches because that's what we started with. But as long as you have somewhere close to that, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. So we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first single crochet. And then we're going to tie that off and now we're going to finish off by hiding all of our tails. All right, once you finish hiding on your t all your tails, that's it. That's all there is to it. You got a nice little cowl here. Remember though, you can make it skinnier if you'd like or a lot thicker. It's up to you. And you can also weave off that shell row. But that's all there is to it. I think it was pretty easy. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out all my other tutorials and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you look over there on the right hand side, I'm going to put a playlist of all my other cowls and uh, shawls and stuff like that. Maybe you want to take a look and find something. Maybe you'll see something else that you want to make. So until next time, have a good day.